Well, the scorching temperatures are long gone, but some of the summer's effects are lasting. Coming up, we talk to the good folks of Rejuvena Health and Aesthetics who have a two-pronged approach to repairing damaged skin. The tan might be long gone, but the damage could last a lifetime. We're talking healthy skin this morning. For many, after a long summer by the pool, it couldn't come fast enough. Joining me from Rejuvena Health and Aesthetics is Dr. Sunil Jain and clinical esthetician Kimberly Smith. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank and we were, we were talking about damaged skin. A lot of people spending some time out by the pool. You kind of change seasons, you're feeling a little drier. You have a two-pronged approach. Yeah, so uh, what we would do is uh, we, we treat both on the inside and the outside. And so um, a lot of times just um, very superficial treatments are used uh, to help hydrate the skin or prevent sun damage more uh, on the outside, but the inside's rarely addressed. So you can do things on the external um, such as moisturizers, uh, facials, and, and, and different uh, laser-based treatments to help remove that damaged skin and help restore the hydration. But as well as on the inside, you can use um, things like hydration through water. Okay? Uh -huh. Drinking water is very important through the winter uh, season, as well as uh, taking a good quality omega-3 supplement. Uh, folic acid and vitamin A are also shown to help with um, improving the skin barrier. Um, and improving moisture content, preventing against that, uh, that sun damage. And this, uh, speaking of sun damage, this machine, you can actually look in it and it gives you an idea of what kind of sun damage you have, correct? Yeah, it's kind of a little bit like looking through an interesting crystal ball because it, it, uh, it shows what's going on there. I'm going to volunteer. I'm a little <laughs> scared here, but uh, <laughs> we'll pop our head in All here. Right. And how quickly does it work? Instantaneously, I can see that um, I'm, I'm looking at what I'm used to looking at lately, which is um, some dehydration, and um, that doesn't really surprise me. That's that's pretty much what I've been seeing an awful lot of lately. Mm -hmm. And is so. that because of the summer, or is that due to the fall changing colors because skin tends to dry out during the fall? So many different things. So many different things. I, I have an awful lot of patients right now that actually do they're hypervigilant with the cold medicines and things like that, those can dehydrate you internally as well as externally. And uh, the sudden change in the season, most definitely, people don't know how to react. And you have some uh, products that you guys use regularly. And tell us about some of these. Well, this one right here is my most popular one right now. And this is basically something that I sell an awful lot of because it does rehydrate the skin. And it's also good for things like hyperpigmentation as well. You know, those dark spots that a lot of people get. Um, very, very important to help rebalance the skin. I actually have a facial that's based entirely off of this type of a thing. Um, this product right here, the hibiscus calendula mask, this is really super good, particularly after you have had sun exposure. A lot of people are still coming back from vacations. This is a good way to rehydrate and rebalance the skin. And then this one right here is another one of my secret weapons. It really helps to calm things down, um, basically reduces redness, irritation, anything like that. And those are also associated with dry skin. So, For the common folk out there who have damaged skin, can't get into your center, what, what are some of the, I guess, basic uh, necessities to repair some of that skin? You know, a lot of people are walking around with dry, cracked hands right now, and that's because they're using an awful lot of the antibacterial type of things. Yeah. Um, what I would recommend is there's some cotton gloves you can get from a number of different places. You can put some things like Aquaphor on the hands and then sleep with those overnight, and that can help to repair that. Also, too, making sure that even though it's nice and cold right now, a lot of caffeinated beverages people are, are actually drinking, um, if you do do that, you know, you need to compensate with warm water. So, And we also live in a desert climate. A lot of people forget that. Uh, One right. thing I think is very important also is that just because it's the winter season, um, we really still need to apply a good quality moisturizing sunscreen mm. and um, to protect us against the harmful rays. And um, even though vitamin D levels drop in the winter time, you know, you can supplement that orally with a good food-based uh, multivitamin. All right. Thanks. Great information. Thank you very much. All the information uh, for their company on our website, azfamily.com, and they offer a variety of services. Tess, good information, especially as we dry out during the season. Absolutely. We certainly get plenty of sun here in the state. Thank you very much, Javier.